that beautiful morning. The ocean is just like a glass. Look at that. Beautiful. And it stayed like this all night. All right, I'm going to get breakfast ready and um, get ready to go fishing. And today for breakfast, I'm gonna make some. I already have room here. I'm gonna make me a tomato, bacon, and two eggs. I'm gonna grill the uh, tomatoes for the bacon uh, fat. Now that bacon fat is going to uh, cook this tomato. Beating already, quick, feel that heat. And over there we got a cruise ship that is going to the private island that is way over there. And we're gonna be fishing towards that area there. But never seen it like this, two days in a row. Uh, just the glass, the ocean, just the glass. Never seen it before like this. I could have went to Exuma from yesterday to today. I could have been in Exuma right now with this type of weather. Just put it on cruise control and get there in no time. But I don't have enough time to get to Exuma. But if you ever get four days like this, you can go to Exuma and back here with no problems. Alright, these eggs are beautiful. Look at that. Beautiful. And of course, we're gonna make a blueberry pancake. Alright, look how the breakfast came out. Two piping hot eggs, bacon, and some vegetables. Zero. 
I forgot I have forgotten before the syrup and there's nothing you can do look at that beautiful blueberries Are done. Rough clear. Let's pick a anchor and go fishing. I'm gonna warm up the engine a little bit. Heading to the spot. I got a nice number here. Hopefully, that will do it. All right, let's see if we put some fish in the cooler today. The ocean is just incredible to navigate. You can get to any destination quick. This is going to be a new fishing spot. Like I told you yesterday, it was heading towards Cuba just that line of uh, direction and let me give you an update cruising with the air conditioner on it's incredible it changes everything before I used to put the generator in the gunnel take it down put it up take it down depending on conditions now the generator stays there no problems doesn't interfere with the engine being able to use the air conditioner that's a plus. All right, one more mile and a half and I will be there. About 100 feet, we have arrived. All right, I am so deep here that my sharp plotter doesn't want to read. I got my magnet again to repel the shark. Forgot to connect the battery. The good thing is today there's no current because of the wind it looks like. So hopefully I'll do good here. I'll let you know once it reaches the bottom how many feet we're in because the sharp plotter doesn't want to read. It's too deep. All right, it reached the bottom already. It's a thousand and fourteen feet. Here at a thousand feet I haven't gotten a bite yet I'm gonna move down to the 800 700 feet uh, where I see ledge then uh, I'm gonna start fishing there but here it looks like there's no fish right here moved up to a little bit shallower area uh, doesn't the sharp line doesn't want to read so it could be it could be 800 let me check could be 800 something like that uh, doesn't want to read it again but I'm moving down towards the shallow area okay I got my first fish at 700 feet 600 feet around there all right let's see if those magnets work see if the shark doesn't get it I know the barracuda could be around here I know how the barracuda strikes the fish and I know how the shark strikes the fish. Yeah, there's a fish coming. Another tile fish.
Look at that beautiful tile fish. All right, that's a keeper. some fish jumping this way. I keep getting this fish is biting real hard, look like that. And they get this some hook. Hopefully this one doesn't get this some hook. this black snapper. Woo! Look at this beauty. Black snapper. Beautiful. It's about 19 inches. Beautiful. Got another one and this one is just as strong as the other one. I moved to a 420 feet spot and they're right here on this spot. Look at that. Woo! That's gotta be a black tip red snapper. It has to be, the way it's pulling. And so far the sharks have not caught my fish yet. Usually two out of four fish, the shark takes it. And it takes the rigging with it. All right, so we're here. I told you it was a black fin snapper. Look at that beauty. Woo! Look at that beauty. This is the bigger I ever caught. Look at this. Woo! Look at that beauty. Hey buddy, hang on. I'm trying to take a picture with you and you seem to be not collaborating. I'm trying to take a picture with him. Look at that beauty. Man, he's gorgeous. That's the same size as uh the other black snapper. All right, the magnet has worked so far. No shark. A fish like that, the shark would have got it. There you go again. You just gotta keep moving around until you find a good spot. It's gotta be a structure where the uh, fish congregate. All right, got another one. Feels medium size. It's not too weak. It's fighting. Yep. Yeah, he's coming. You got no other choice than to come here. And the magnet has been working every single fish. No shark. Woo! 
what is this? Look at this other one. Another satisfied customer. Beautiful. Look at this beauty, black snapper. Woo, beautiful. Another one for the collection. Yeah, that magnet's been working great. I saw sharks here yesterday and they didn't even try to get my fish. So it looks like the magnet is working perfect. I have never been able to catch four. I was supposed to lose at least 50% of that and, uh, and also gear. I didn't lose none of my gear. All right, I turned the air conditioner on because it's too hot out there. Can't take it. Right now, the uh, reel is going down to 500 feet. It's gonna take about a minute. So I'm gonna take a break. I'm gonna take a little lunch in here. Keep my eye on the fishing rod from over here. I don't know if to keep getting air conditioning or go out there and uh, fight that fish. It's nibbling on the pole. Meanwhile, I'm using the air conditioner here to take a break. I'm charging the Minkota batteries fresh batteries so it's multi-purpose plus I need to cool down a little bit um, I'm exhausted the Sun is very very hot out there well what better way to fish from inside the pilot house with air conditioning can get any better than that you can see the pole right there let me know if something strikes it while I'll get some chips Chips. And since I'm not piloting the boat, I'm going to be here fishing most of the day. You guessed it. You guessed it right. Something going on over there? Let me know. All right guys, I'm gonna take a little break now and I'll continue this trip on the next video. And if you did like this video, please don't forget to thumb it up. Thank you for watching and always navigate safe.